everybody, Palm Springs Cindy. I have not, I have not made a video in too long. And so I am, um, so, so here I am. You can tell by the sound of my voice, I have had a cold. Actually, I'm, um, I felt it coming on. It's, I have a feeling it's like getting, it's, it's not at the peak yet. But that's part, I've, I've been a little under the weather, so that's part of why I have not uh, uploaded a video. One of the things that I'm going to be demonstrating in this video, I'm going to put on these cluster lashes. Now, you can see, they're, you know, they're not the full strip. They're just, they're what we call a cluster. And these are from B&Q, B&Q Cash. <laughs> B and Q laugh. <laughs> and let me tell you what it says about them, if I can read it, if I can see it. Lightweight, soft, and comfortable. If you look at these, and then in the back, it has like little demonstration pictures of how to apply these to the top, to your top eyelid, as well as your bottom eyelid. But I wouldn't put them... They're way too heavy and thick for your, I wouldn't put anything on my bottom eyelashes. Are you kidding me? No way. So, all right. Now, while I do this, where's my straw? Where's my straw, straw, straw? I can't find it. I bought, look at these beautiful glasses I bought at Home Goods. There's just something about drinking out of a, a pretty glass that I love, no matter whether it's, you know, soda, juice, whatever. You can't do coffee because, the you know, it's too hot. Iced coffee. While I apply these lashes, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something quite serious. And I hope you can relate. Um, and actually, before I get started, I'm not... I, <laughs> before I get started on my lashes, uh, I'm going to just introduce the subject. Okay, as you guys know, I've been going out with this gentleman named Eric. Now, Eric, if you watch this video, it is only complimentary about you. Actually, like I said, we have we met over a year ago, and just recently, the last few months, uh, maybe two to three months, uh, before my face surgery, in a way, uh, we have reconnected. So, I... I am so dry, uh, and so anyway, I've got this juice, but look at this. I got these straws, everyone's wrapped individually. So, all right, I've met this gentleman named Eric. Now, Eric could not be a nicer man. He, he does everything right. You know, he opens your car door, he cooks, he actually cleans up after he cooks, if he can tell I'm tired. He, uh, you know, he takes me out on lovely places. Um, he'll go to the grocery store. He got my car washed and like waxed and everything for me. Um, I mean, just everything that a woman needs and everything that a woman could want. But here's the dilemma. I, because we've gotten closer, he and I and spent more time together, um, I, ha I have been reminded what it's like to live with someone, to have someone, not that he's living here, but to have someone around, um, you know, to have dinner with someone, to cook dinner with someone, to um, go to the grocery store together, to plan meals together, to go to the clubhouse with, with a, a partner, a date, whatever. So because we've spent time together, I um I am reminded what it's like to not be single. And I think I am too well I don't think. I know I am too used to being single. So what I've learned I am I am very set in my ways. I am too used to being single, to living on my own and not having anyone around. Now, part of that sounds crazy, but I know a lot of you will understand that because like if you just have a date with someone, 
you know, he you know, knocks at the door. He, you know, he, he takes you out for dinner, lunch, whatever. And, you know, then you, then you come back home and they go. So that's just like a, an, a couple hours with a gentleman. And that's lovely and that's fun. But then when you start getting serious, like Eric and I started getting serious. And I just um, started feeling a little claustrophobic. Just that other presence around me was, uh, was almost like too much. <clears throat> so it really has made me question about, you know, do, do I want a, a romance? Do I want, because I don't want to just date somebody forever and ever. I mean, I want, if I'm going to be with a man, if I'm going to, you know, have a partner, then that I need to be married. And so, I mean, that's what I believe. So, if I, um, <laughs> being married to someone means 24-7. I just don't think I could be in a relationship, a real long-lasting relationship. <sighs> Go figure. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm going to put these on. <laughs> Try anyway. Now, um, while I'm sitting here, I'm kind of looking over here because I have, you know, I have a television outside on my patio. It's, it's like up up there and it's attached to the wall with like these metal arms so that you can swivel the TV. Well, there are two, there's a dove father and mother and they're big and they're, make, they're trying to make a nest back there. Now, I don't know how they can do it because uh, there's no flat surface. Everything's like just, uh, you know, metal arms. But I did, I thought maybe they gave up. So I went out there, this, because I hadn't seen them. But I went, on, went out there and looked. They were not there. And it peeked under the TV. And I can tell they are, they're still there. And they're flying in and out, in and out. And the, uh, the one, probably the father, it sits, sits on the fence and kind of watches. Of course, I have a bazillion trees out there, but see, the trees are too unprotected. I know why they chose that spot. It's totally hidden. It's in the shade. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's really a perfect spot, but I don't know how they're going to put a nest there. Okay, you guys, I'm pulling off one of these guys with my tweezers. Now pulling these, these are very, pulling, pulling eyelashes off, I'm gonna use my fingers, can be tricky. Oh, that one came off easily. Okay, here you go, let me show you. These are pretty curly. Curly! Now my plan is just to like put, put one here and put one here. And if I do that and I decide I want more, then I'll add more. Okay, I, I couldn't find my black eyelash glue from the last time I used it. So I've got to use it. Ugh, I'm using this duo. Oh, actually, this is great. It's good enough. Now I have eye makeup on. I have makeup on. I do not have foundation, um, but I do have some blush. It's just been too hot to wear foundation. So I'm gonna add this. I have eyeliner. These may be way too long. <laughs> Look how long these Oh, well, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, eat, 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 eat. Okay, there we go. Now, I have to get my mirror over here. My over here mirror. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are way too big. <laughs> okay, no way. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move it over here. Got to get a fill. That's crazy. Look, crazy. Crazy. It's so crazy, I have to add more. 
When I ordered these, I didn't realize they were this long. My goodness, this is like too much, too much for TV. Okay, I got another one. Pulled it off. And I'm gonna dip dappy. You guys, I, I went to Actually, Eric and I went to the Star Carl called. Hold on. It's not called hold on, but crumb. Okay, hold on. The angle has to be right that you're holding your lash. <laughs> okay. I'm laughing because they're so horrendous. I, You know what? I would buy these again, but just a smaller size if they have them. Okay. I, um, I went to Cardenas. I don't know how you pronounce that. C-A-R-D-E-N-A-S grocery store. You know, where I live, it's quite close to the Mexican border, like an hour and a half maybe, or less. And so there's a lot of um, Mexican Americans in this community. And one of the things that I love is Mexican food. <laughs> and so they have a lot of Mexican markets here. So uh, when I, I've, and I've been to Car Card Cardenas, a, a couple of times, but only like to run in and get one thing and run right out. So, because my mom used to go buy their chips and, and pico de gallo. And so, so anyway, we went to buy, just to check it out. Well, first of all, the prices are a lot less. And they have, um, they have pretty much everything a regular grocery store would have. But not the specialty, not like, for example, I like that, um, Laughing cow cheese that's light. I didn't see it there. I like, we had, we entertained. I had a little party. I'll have to tell you about it. I had a party and I wanted to buy, there's like this alouette type cheese and that you, it's soft and you like pull the thing, the, the little lid off and then you, it's soft. You can dip crackers and stuff in it. They didn't have that. Um, but they have, uh, they've got great vegetable, great tomatoes, great avocado. Um, great, uh, you know, uh, lemons, limes, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And the meat was just really, okay, I think that's all I'm going to do on there. Okay, here we go on the other side. Uh, 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 here we go. I have not had my nails done since I returned from Kauai. Now, I, tr I did give myself a little manicure, but I'm just, I need to get to the beauty salon and I need to get my eyebrows waxed. You know, all that girly stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Tip tap. Come on. My um, nephew, one of my gorgeous, hunky nephews, is having a baby, he and his wife. And, um, it's a girl. We found out it's a girl. So um, we pretend her name is Eleanor. Ellie. And so I don't know why. Maybe they said Eleanor and we picked up on it. Whatever. So anyway, I send, um, I send pictures of babies that I think Eleanor is going to look like. I send them to uh, Kyle, 
my nephew and his wife, Alyssa, and I send him to my sister, who's going to be the grandma and my brother-in-law. So I, um, I go on Etsy. You know, there's so many cute baby sites, which means you have to have pictures of babies. <laughs> go on Etsy. I go online, you know, I just peruse because I think, you know, I've got to, I know what he looked like as a baby because, you know, he was my nephew. And I, of course, I know what Alyssa, his wife, looks like now. So, you know, I'm trying to, okay. So I'm trying to find what I think the baby might look like. So fun. You know how how babies bring everybody together. A new life. I don't even care. You know, like sometimes the circumstances, especially it seems like in these modern times, the circumstances can be a little rough. Like if their dad is gone or mom is whatever. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I've got to put this on. I'm going to use my fingers. No, I'm not. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. I don't care. A baby is a new life. Straight from heaven. And, you know, I, I have to say that sometimes... You, sometimes I, I have seen, maybe you have too, these videos like on... Uh, YouTube or whatever, where the baby, I'm, I'm taking this glue off because I'm not going to add any more. <laughs> I'm going to fly away. Oh my, that would be perfect for like a New Year's Eve. So they, um, you know, they have these videos of babies that the mother or the father, they, you know, they're holding and then they, the mother or the father starts singing and the baby starts crying or like oogles and babbles. <laughs> the eyes get big and I think that's because they've come straight from heaven and they know the celestial music the angelic music from heaven they they have that in their memory in their cell and spirit memory and then they they cry they cry happy tears if you watch these videos they're like endearing uh, little cries and I I I know it's because they are remembering that's you know, like maybe like that's where I came from. That's familiar. That's my real home. Call me crazy, but that's what I believe. And okay, put those on. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys. All right. Okay, I don't know what the jury is going to say about this, but it was fun and you saw me. This was such a good buy. I don't remember how much I paid, but you know, this, this is a huge... I'm, I'm going to go back online and find this brand and see if they have B and Q Lash and see if they have different size clusters. Okay, let's see what else can I talk about. Mm. My daughter is coming over. She's on spring break. She's coming over later to, um, and we're going to have lunch together. I'm going to wear a mask because I do not want her catching whatever I've got. And, okay, so I had a dinner party the other night. It was kind of impromptu. And it was Eric and I, my girlfriend, Fran, and we fixed Fran up with a gentleman, gentleman friend of Eric's. Well, we had Eric cooked in the um, hot air fryer. He cooked a whole, I think it was a whole chicken, delicious. I think it was a chicken. And then we put, we had baked potatoes, really, you know, that were in the oven a long time and, the outer, the skin was a little crunchy and the inside was just soft and hot, full of steam. And then we had a salad and those Brussels sprouts that I love in the fryer, in the hot air fryer. So we, um, you know, they came, they met and every, you know, it was really great. So we, everybody hit it off. We were talking, uh, you know, just chit chatting, talking. So we had, it was a nice, I made a, charcuterie board which no one ate 
Well, uh, Eric and I did, um, and they did eat. It was just a lot. I really should not have made that. It was too much. You know, just a plate of cheese and crackers would have been fine. But I was at Cardenas, and I, you know, I bought grapes and almonds and cheese and crackers and all kinds of stuff to put on this charcuterie board. And after dinner, um, you know, Eric picked up everybody's plate, got dishes started, and then um, then we went back outside and we played Texas Hold'em. <coughs> well, it was fun. I, you know, I, um, I am just not lucky when it comes to cards, games, whatever. And so, but it's still fun. You know, I don't care. It's still fun. So we played, I think Franny or Eric won. We played Texas Hold'em and we, you know, I had the music going and we had conversation. And plus they had to kind of teach Fran and I how to play Texas Hold'em. So they, uh, so anyway, that was sort of the, what we did. And then after, after that, it was probably nine-ish. And it was, you know, we were... <laughs> Guys, that's what happens when you're 72. We start getting tired early. So it was, you know, it was time to say goodbye. We started the evening at five. So, you know, by nine o'clock, it was, we were ready to say goodbye. So anyway, everybody left. And then, um, so I had a ton of leftover stuff, which was kind of fun. And anyway, so that was my dinner party. I'm also going to tag on to this, what I've been promising, that uh, fashion show and whatever else I have, and you'll know what it is. I'll do a voiceover to explain it, whatever. I forget all that I do have uh, to tack on to the end of this video. In the meantime, I've got to do the dishes that are in my sink because <laughs> my daughter's coming over. You guys, you have no idea how much I enjoy you. I just feel like we're girlfriends sitting here chatting. And while I'm putting on my false eyelashes, <laughs> let me know what you think about these lashes. Oh my gosh. I'm looking over here because I have a magnifying mirror and I can see my lashes up close. All right. P.S. I love you. Until our next conversation. Bye-bye. Hey, you guys. My daughter and I decided to go out to lunch today. We are at this place. I've never been here, but it's called Eureka. And it's we're sitting outdoors, a beautiful patio. And I think I'm going to order chicken wings and Brussels sprouts. So we shall, I'll, I'll let you know. These mountains. Hold on, I'm going to do this. Look at the snow on the very tip top of the mountains. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that pretty fountain. Hey you guys, hi YouTubers, Palm Springs Cindy. I am here at Mitch's, off, right off of El Paseo, and we are having a little birthday celebration. And along with lunch, there's a ladies fashion show. It's been very fun. And it's a beautiful day in Palm Springs area. So sun, for those of you who have snow or low temperatures, I'm so sorry. This is the luncheon and fashion show that we went to, that I went to several weeks ago. I am not going to talk. I'm going to let you enjoy just hearing the chit chat, the conversation, and watching the models and how we're conversing with them. So pretty. And let's see that little Chanel handbag. Oh, that's cute. The Chanel is really cute. Very, oh, from Patty. So nice. A fun evening handbag. She's got you on YouTube right now. She's got you on YouTube. She's doing a, she's doing a, you're on YouTube. Lovely. All right. I mean, it's different, really different. Really different. Yeah.
I love the black, the white, the silver. Oh, well, thank you so much. So Shirley, you look like a city state. <laughs> well, thanks. I kind of like that. So this is from Shirley's Boutique. Shirley is right down the street. She has a new location on um, El Paseo and Sage right behind Armando. So go get your cocktail that is way too strong and then go shopping. <laughs> she also has two racks today here and she also has a ton of boot, um, accessories. So I just wanted to show you this really interesting vest that we have on. And this is her best-selling top. I love that top. It is cute. It is cute and it's super comfortable. Even on a day that's really sunny like this, it's really lightweight and airy. And it comes in red, white, and black. And then we have this a little charming polka dot pant. It's a, it feels like a cotton blend and it's just a pull on and it's super comfortable. And then we have the magnetic closure necklace. So you don't need to bust with the clasps, right? It just... Isn't that fun? I a like that. A lot of her jewelry. Really elderly. Trust me. And for me. It's a lifesaver. Yeah. Trust and then we me. have the little matching earrings. So all from Shirley's. And then on the back, you'll see you have, if you go to the boutique, which is right down the street, you get $20 off a $100 purchase at the store. Thank you so much. I appreciate your attention. We love you. Yeah. We're still here. We let Julia, well, yeah, everyone bailed. They all bailed on you. <laughs> That's true. The umbrellas came down and they're all gone. The umbrella, but it was water. There was water. I guess it was out from the roof. But it was on the it was on the it wasn't here, it was over there, way over by the roof. So now they're taking all the umbrellas yeah. down. Yeah. So now we get skin cancer. It was just a burst of wind or something. Well, you're too cute. <laughs> you are, you're too cute, darling. Well, thank you. Did you have a good time? Everything was good. We did have good. Fun. Yes. yes. Celebration. Good. It was great. Good, good. See you next time, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. All when, right, well, we don't have a flood. Thank you. No, we don't like it, Jay. You and they get a towel so she can use that on uh, a napkin. Very cute. And I like the mesh in that jacket. You would look good. Yeah. Maybe you should check them out before you, before you leave. It's very uh -huh. pretty. This one I very like. Pretty. I like yeah. the stripe and look. Yes. I don't Very like nice. a lot of those patterns she's got personally. Mine is more like this striped with little quilts. Oh, are you buying that? Um, Pretty cute there. You got everything underneath. Except oh, for that belt. Stop traffic belt. I, I, <laughs> so we need to split it. We moved indoors because there was a gust of wind that yeah. came up and knocked over some of the umbrellas and everything. Say hi, so anyway, I just wanted to give you a view of the indoors of Mitch's. The restaurant we went to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. The next part is uh, Eric and I went to our clubhouse here at Trilogy. And on Wednesday evenings, they have this combo that plays. And anyway, just to give you an idea of what it's like living at Trilogy Polo here, a 55 plus community in Indio, California. I silenced the music, the jazz music they were playing due to copyright laws, but you get the point. Actually, the music was very, very nice. And I really, Eric and I really enjoyed just sitting there and listening to them. Yes, dinner on the patio, and um, I think it's almost here. It is. And he says it is. So, um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And Poppy is out here. She might be on the grass somewhere. Thank you. Okay, coming out on the patio. It's a beautiful night. We've got our patio lights up. And I think Poppy's out, out here somewhere. And our little table is set. So, hi, Pops. You want to say hi? She is... Um, She's liking being outdoors because it's such a lovely evening. Yes. And you can see the blue sky, the mountains. 